Hi, welcome to the next part of making a UI a Flutter landing page UI responsive. Uh, so let's dive uh, deep dive in the code. Uh, so as I mentioned in the last uh, video, we had to uh, we have to make few changes. Um, let's close everything and just to give a quick overview of the code structure is the main dart and which has my home page my home page has header and body and in the in first uh, part we are making the body part responsive um, now we are in body part and we are making we have two a large screen and the small screen here and uh, as, you, as I mentioned before, for the large screen, we don't have to make any changes. I just moved the code over which was there before. In the small screen, uh, I played around with the font size, uh, which felt right for that uh, smaller screen. And here in the text, in the rich text also, at the similar uh, 40 uh, is the font size. I had the size box, which was the gap between the text so this is the gap between uh, this is a size box the text and the image and this is where it is and uh, this is the image so one thing to notice in for the web part you will be using image.network while for the native uh, code you have to use image.assets and to give a quick overview here about how we access the images are the assets so in the web part we put the assets in uh, in here under the web directory a uh, web folder assets email p flutter uh, these are my all three uh, images but in the uh, native part we will we use uh, pub.yaml and in here so this is my uh, pub.yaml of the web and this is the native so I will show you uh, in a while like how I do it but we put the images in here inside the asset folder and we call image dot uh, image dot asset and we call like that just to keep in mind all right so now we added the uh, size box here so this is you can see it's like a image here which is a scaling one but that means it sits in the middle and a padding between this is the padding we put a size box of 30 uh, pixels and this is the uh, this text and then the email box so email box is here and we leave a little bit uh, gap at the uh, margin at the end so if we go email box what we do in the email box here so one thing to remember is as i mentioned before in here this is the most important part here to keep the box in middle of the ui if it's not then it will overflow here so you will see it going overflow here uh, so that's pretty much if the only change we made in this uh, file and we go back in here oh, sorry so in here with the subscribe button so that's another change we made in the subscribe button is subscribe button is nothing but this so if you see in the large um, UI in the large UI you see this is the subscribe button which is big and which has a text and has the icon but a small screen may not afford that all that uh, kind of information to be put in there so for that what we have uh, made some adjustment here we added a new method build button and we added this check if a uh, screen is small then build small button otherwise large button so large button stays the same just have few changes like if it's a small screen adjust the font size of the thing if it's medium do so but actually your code will not really reach here anymore so this is a part of the few tinkering i was doing so it's not really needed actually because the uh, a code uh, control will not really reach here it will adjust will return the build a small button here when it will uh, find it when it finds it's a small screen so here it it may useful uh, it can be just removed and it, it makes more sense like this it's a medium screen it put it 12 otherwise uh, put it uh, 16 and the same thing here so any check uh, for the small screen will not make sense anymore here 
so I'm just removing it so it's a medium screen or not and the same thing goes here and right here and this thing also so we are checking if it's a medium or it defaults to the large okay now the small button um, uh, what it does is it checks like if it's a uh, width it's a smaller screen and it put the 12 uh, otherwise it will set what the default uh, size should be so that's pretty much we are doing in here and uh, uh, yeah uh, okay so, so that's how our body is built here and we can um, see it again in the responsive so we are all everything is good here you can see on different few screen form factors iPhone X probably and so on all right so now the last part of this post is how we can uh, adapt uh, this um, design of uh, different screen form factors uh, to the menu to the header so we see this header is really big uh, for this one there are so many things and there's no way these things can fit uh, elegantly in a smaller screen so what we do uh, we put it in here as a, a menu so this thing is not clickable I haven't made it clickable uh, let's jump right in the code so it's uh, this code is in the header and R and as you see this is where the everything is so again giving a quick over uh, walkthrough of this code um, so this is a build header uh, this is where it builds it's uh, a padding which has a um, keep it up uh, there and we builds the header so what builds the header does it builds a logo and the I put the header links there so in build logo it actually puts makes this little box right here and this one this is a like a whole one thing and this is the links is the another thing so in the get links it get the four links and put it next to each other and make a list and add a login button right here which is right here right here and give it a little shading so this is what we do in the login button right here. So now this is what we have uh, done here. So how, what, so what differently we are doing? We are really not touching any of part of the code. Well, the only change we are making, if we encounter a small screen right here, then do not build any of these. Just show an image, which is a menu uh, PNG. So as you can see, there is no action attached with it. So there's nothing will happen if you try to uh, click it. But you can add here, you can, so nothing is happening. But you can add a uh, on tab uh, later on in this, uh, within inside this image. So I'll show you in one of the following posts how to do that. Uh, so for, let's see what we had here. All right, so we have a running in native environment is the thing. All right, so how we can do it in the native environment? So uh, for you to quickly try on, you just have to change a branch. Uh, so right now it's running the in the web and you might have to change the branch. So I can show you branch quickly here, which is I am on web responsive. You might want to go to the uh, native responsive to be able to see it. Uh, so we just made the few changes so I just stash them and we check out native responsive and now you see a few issues with the server and the code won't be happy so if it happens to you you can try a few things flutter clean seems to help And, and you might want to get the dependencies again just in case to get everything fresh. And there are a few changes that I had to make I, as I mentioned in here in my notes. Uh, so all image network needs to be replaced with image.asset and flutter web, uh, flutter underscore web imports needs to be replaced with this native variant flutter. So what does it mean? In here you see my this was the flutter web before I changed into the flutter I made this changes already and as I said uh, in the pub spec 
pops back so you see i try to make it uh, keep it a copy of like a web in the native and as a dot native for in the uh, web folder so that i know which how my settings looks like in that particular environment unfortunately this is the way to do it for now since uh, there still is in the tech preview the web version is still in the tech preview i hope things will get better soon uh, so for now uh, this is the asset so th this is how i put my assets on in here and to access it i have to just set image dot asset and it should do so let's see how we can run it let's see if it can come it quickly oh great yeah so this is how it, it, it looks like right now and there's no overflow error not here not here and again there is no link is clickable at this point uh, it will be it, it might be a poor a thing that I might show in the next uh, article uh, so uh, that's pretty much for this uh, video on this article in the next article I will be showing you how to play around with the styling of the text uh, styling like how to set the fonts and the sizes um, and, and so on so till then thank you very much and keep fluttering happy coding thank you very much